Have you ever tried to imagine a world without wheels? And have you ever thought of the meticulous care that must go to the making of a wheel, especially a railway engine wheel? Preparing the rim for the fixing of the tire, for instance, is a process gauged to the minutest fraction of an inch to prevent any close shaves later on. Making the tire is certainly no job for the tyro. It's slightly smaller than the wheel, and after being heated is allowed to shrink, so as to grip it tightly. The grooves inside the tire make contact with the rim even closer than the proverbial Scot. A slot in the wheel centre is cut to hold the end of the axle. This crankshaft is wedged in and the wheel forced on by hydraulic pressure of some 130 tonnes. A specially designed machine correctly balances the wheels, which are run at speeds representing 60 miles an hour. So much play of the springs indicates that the balance is faulty. The fault can be remedied by adding extra weight. Then the machine is restarted and is allowed to run until perfect balance is obtained. Any deficiency is registered and the adjustment made by adding the same weight of liquid metal. Away they go. British engineers have made sure that one good turn will deserve many others. <laughs> 